Hi and welcome back to our channel. In this video I will be comparing the most famous German and Frankfurt sausages. So whatever you come to Germany, you know what is what and what to get. The first sausage that I would love to show you, it's called Gelbwurst, so the yellow sausage that was actually previously called Hirnwurst, so a brain sausage. And yes, I am afraid that it did contain animal brain. But do not worry, this is not the case anymore. Apart from the wonderful taste, the Gelbwurst has a lovely color, which comes from the colored casing. Gelbwurst is usually served warm with a mustard and bread or bread roll, but it also can be served cold. And this time, because we are actually comparing the sausages, I need to tell you that, that the Gelbwurst is a parboiled sausage that is made from young beef, veal, pork and even sometimes poultry. By young beef we mean beef that is at least 8 months old but younger than 12 months. Gelbwurst is spiced with salt, pepper, mace, ginger, cardamom, lemon powder. So the next sausage that I would love to show you it's called Krakawa and it actually doesn't have anything to do with a Polish sausage which is called the same. German Krakawa is usually served warm and that's either simmered in the salty water or grilled. For me the sausage has a pretty strong flavor and it's definitely worth trying. Krakawa is a smoked sausage that is also parboiled and made from beef, pork and even, I found one from poultry, it's spiced with curing salt, pepper, paprika powder, nutmeg, garlic and caraway seeds. And now is the time to show you German Fleischwurst, so called Leona. I think you call it in English Bologna sausage. Fleischwurst can be served in Germany in many different ways. So one of the most popular ways is for sure a sausage salad. The one on the screen contains raw onions and cheese as well as oil and vinegar dressing. But it also can be served warm, for example with mashed potatoes and sauerkraut. If you got very good quality Fleischwurst, it is seriously a treat. And if I were you, I would try it warm. Fleischwurst is also smoked and parboiled sausage, which is made from beef, young beef, veal, pork and even poultry. It's spiced with white pepper, cardamom, turmeric, nutmeg, coriander, garlic and ginger. Liver sausage is also a very important German sausage that we cannot miss in this video. There are plenty of regional variations of this sausage. This one also can be spreadable but it doesn't have to be. It's usually served with a bread and pickled cucumber on the top or warm with some sauerkraut and potatoes. If served warm, it has pretty soft consistency. So Leberwurst belongs to pre-cooked sausages and that means that the meats that the sausage is made from are cooked before the actual sausage is made. Leberwurst can also be smoked. Leberwurst can contain beef, pork and obviously liver and it's spiced with curing salt, pepper, ginger, cardamom, mace, vanilla and honey. Another important German sausage is the blood sausage. As you can see on the screen, the German blood sausage is usually served warm with a sauerkraut and some potatoes. And in Cologne is a part of traditional dish along with mashed potatoes, fried onion rings and applesauce. But the blood sausage can also be served cold on the bread. And here, there you go, you can see how soft it is from inside when warm up. Blood sausage as well as the liver sausage is also pre-cooked and smoked and it's made from pork and obviously blood. Blutwurst is spiced with salt, pepper, marjoram, thyme, paprika powder and garlic. And now I would like to mention the sausage that is called Pinkel and this one comes from Northwest Germany and it is a part of a traditional winter dish that you can eat at the coast. The dish is called Grünkohl mit Pinkel, so kale and Pinkel. It is a stew that is also usually served with Kassler. Pinkel is also usually a pre-cooked sausage and also smoked. It contains pork groats of oats or barley and it can be spiced with salt, pepper or spice and 
cloths. And now we're gonna move on to the one and only Frankfurter Würstchen, which in Germany can only be made in Frankfurt and in the greater Frankfurt area. And that's already since 1860. The sausage itself has been known already since the Middle Ages. The Frankfurter sausage is always simmered in the salty water and served either with sauerkraut and mustard, of course, or with a wonderful potato salad. We also like adding them to soups, like to a Frankfurt potato soup or a Frankfurt pea soup. Frankfurter is also smoked sausage and belongs to the Pyrebold ones. It's made of 100% pork and spiced with salt, pepper, paprika powder, coriander and mace. Similar to the Frankfurt sausage, it's called Wiener Würstchen. And although they look similar, they like the Frankfurt sausage, they surely don't taste like it. Those are eaten in many different ways. On the screen right now you see the traditional dish from Swabia, so spätzle and lentils. Unfortunately, I didn't have the original sausage, which is, which is called Seiten, to pair it with. So Wiener, like Frankfurter, is also smoked and parboiled, but this one can be made from pork, beef or poultry and spiced with salt, pepper, paprika powder, coriander and maize. The next topic that we're gonna cover is the German Bratwurst. The name Brat actually comes from the word bread, which is the filling of the sausage. Bratwurst are actually many different sausages, but once we know for sure, traditionally they either grilled or cooked in the pan. Bratwurst normally belongs to sausages that are not smoked, but I actually found one from Franconia that is smoked. It belongs to the sausages that are fresh, parboiled or pre-cooked. It can be made from many different meats like pork, beef, veal, even poultry and also wild game what I forgot to mention. Bratwurst is also very regional, so the spices might vary. And also what I really wanted to mention is that Bratwurst is this sausage that is served with a curry sauce as a curry wurst. The one on the screen I have eaten in Best Wurst in town in Frankfurt, Sachsenhausen. And as you can see, it was very richly covered with a curry powder. I eat this dish so rarely and it is really a treat for me. And by the way, in Frankfurt we serve the curry wurst with a beautiful mesh broth. So the mixture of the rye and white bread. That wurst can not only be served with a sauerkraut, but also, as you can see, red cabbage and some mashed potatoes. But this is a winter time edition. And now I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the German Bockwurst, which we always get when we travel somewhere, because you can get it almost at every petrol station. At the beginning of the 19th century, Bockwurst was very popular in Bavaria as a breakfast. Bockwurst was also eaten in the Bock beer time here in Germany, and some laugh that this is the fifth season in Germany particular season comes before Easter and also right before Christmas. Bockwurst as a street food is traditionally served with a bread roll and mustard, but also with all different kinds of potato side dishes, German bread or some added to the soup. Bockwurst is a smoked sausage that is also parboiled and it can be made from pork, beef and as well poultry. It is spiced with pepper, paprika powder, ginger, mace and coriander. And this wonderfully red sausage, it's called Frankfurter Rindswurst and this is actually the most popular sausage here in Frankfurt. The sausage was invented in 1894 by the company that it's called Gref Fürsing that exists till today. It's extremely popular, they sell more than 1000 sausages a day. So I guess this is what the Frankfurters have for lunch during work hours. The sausage is very fine in texture and pretty strong in taste. And it also can be served with a sauerkraut and potatoes. Frankfurter Rindswurst belongs to smoked and parboiled sausages and it's made with 100% beef and spiced with white pepper, paprika powder, but as far as I know, they also do additional ones like chili or garlic ones. 
And the last sausage that I would love to mention comes from Munich and it's served with brezel. And I am sure that you know what sausage I'm talking about. This is sausage called Weisswurst. Typically, this sausage is served in the salty water with a sweet mustard, pretzel and, and weiss beer. If you have a fresh Weisswurst with a natural casing, you can eat the casing as well. Other than this, you need to peel the sausage and you can make it with a fork and knife. Or the old way would be to suck the meat out of the sausage, which isn't pretty, but traditional. And as you know, we like traditions. Weisswurst belongs to a piebald sausages and in the past was made only with veal, but now also young beef, pork and even turkey. The sausage can be spiced with parsley, pepper, lemon powder, mace, onion powder, ginger and cardamom. Please let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite sausage and how you eat it. And by the way, if you like this topic two years ago, I have prepared a video series about the German sausages. In this series, I cover a history of the German sausages, German raw sausages, German fresh and cooked sausages, as well as the regional variations of the German bratwurst. I will link those in the description box down for you. I wish you a lovely week and I see you on my next one. Bye!